today. I'm Ben Yamini. I'm responsible for product marketing at VM Turbo. Uh, I'm going to start us off here with just a brief introduction. It sounds like some of you guys are familiar with VM Turbo, uh, so we'll just do a very brief recap, and then more will go into a lot of the details in terms of the demo, the technology. The real focus for us today is going to be around use cases in um, the public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud, uh, so going beyond the virtualization layers and some of the other topics we've discussed in the previous presentations. All right, so um, don't let my boyish good looks confuse you guys. I've been in IT for almost 20 years. Uh, and I think for as long as all of us have been in IT, there's been, uh, the sole purpose of IT, right, is to assure application performance, to make sure the infrastructure is healthy and to avoid failure. And really for VM Turbo, that is our goal. We uh, help our customers guarantee the quality of service of their workloads, of their infrastructure, uh, and that's our sole purpose. So really it's not around monitoring or trying to find something that is broken, it's about using software, using our control platform to keep the environment as healthy as possible by making real-time decisions around the placement, the sizing, the configuration of workloads. So uh, before we go into the demo and actually show you that live in the instance, I want to show you a quick uh, video here. It's a bit of a marketing video, but I think it really brings this all to life, uh, and it's a good way to kind of tell the story. This is DC Commands to Virtual Machine 2461. Prepare for deployment. Roger that, DC Command. VM 2461, ready to deploy. Deployment successful. Booting up. Hold on, DC Command. I'm running into some issues. DC Command, I'm experiencing heavy resource contention. Copy that, VM 2461. Prepare to be moved. Move complete. What's your status? Negative command. Still experiencing contention. I've got heavy latency command. I'm down here. Hold on, VM 2461. We're gonna try something new. Hello, VM 2461. I'm VM Turbo. How can I help? Hey, VM Turbo. I can't tolerate resource contention or delay. Look within VM2461. You know your needs better than anyone. Wow, VM2, it's all so clear now. I see what you're saying. VM2461, you have control now. Proceed. DC Command, I got this. Status report 5. Total oh, rocks, me, Turbo. Glad to hear you like it, 2461. DC Command, I'm right where I need me. Over. Glad to hear it, VM2461. DC Command, this is VM1899. I am burning through my budget here. Request to move? Granted. Roger. There's my host, C1899. Roger, 2246, DC Command, we are all set. Containers on 1742, status report. Command, request to spin up instances to meet demand. Granted. Demand stabilizing command, request to power down unneeded containers. Roger that, I'm showing situation healthy. DC Command, do you wish to initiate automation sequence? With automation enabled, your environment may now self-organize as needed to prevent problems and guarantee performance. VM Turbo, initiating automation. DC Command, we're maxing out down here. Options? DC Command, control extends to the public cloud. Your VMs and containers know the best cloud for their needs. Burst at will. VMs? Containers, deploy to public cloud at will. Welcome to Control Command. Enjoy the view. That's, <laughs> if I could have heard that though, that's brilliant. <laughs> well, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Yeah, so hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it. And really, what did we see there? You saw the real-time control of VM Turbo making decisions and moving uh, the workloads around, letting the workloads decide where they should live, where they should be consuming resources from. At the core of our control platform is really a very simple or elegant approach to this. Um, we abstract everything in the data center 
into a set of entities, and those entities are either buying or selling resources. We treat them as commodities, and essentially by buying the, by choosing on their own what is the best place for them to consume resources from, the workloads end up performing. So it's really that's at the core of our technology. And when you think about it, ultimately, when I said in the beginning, our goal is to assure application performance, right? So we abstract everything in the data center into this common data model and then represent it as a supply chain where at the top, the applications, um, the ones where transactions are going up or workloads, demand is going up, they're consuming from the virtual machines, from the container, moving down into the storage layer, into fabric, moving out into public cloud resources if that's available for them, um, <coughs> leveraging the network. So really that is the core of VM Turbo and that's how the system or the control platform makes decisions. And lastly, the, as we think about where we're going forward, and I, I said we're gonna spend a lot of time today um, going through public, private, and hybrid cloud use cases, but really our goal ultimately to, to assure application performance is we need to provide that control for any workload uh, running on any infrastructure, anywhere, or anytime. So that really means um, all the different workloads out there, the infrastructure, um, all the different hypervisors, anywhere, really any public cloud providers or private cloud providers, and then any time, it's really around the real-time control of our system.